How Santa's reindeer got their names. One day, I was wondering how Santa's reindeer got their names. This was the night before Christmas, and I was getting sleepy. Suddenly, a little fairy touched me. Come with me. I have something to show you. As we crept deep into a big forest, the little fairy said, Something strange and exciting is going to happen in this forest tonight. All of a sudden, I heard a rushing sound, and what do you think I saw? Eight tiny reindeer. And they all went into a huddle. Then the little fairy whispered, Shh, listen. And this is what I heard a tiny reindeer say. Did you see how heavy Santa's pack was last Christmas? After each of them nodded his head yes, one spoke out, Why, it was so heavy, he could hardly carry it. Another mentioned, How tired he looked when he got back from his long trip. Two others asked, Isn't there some way we can help him? The sixth one said, What a dear old fellow. Who wouldn't love him? We must think of something. Then, as the last two had been thinking of what had been said, they both came up with an idea at the same time. A sleigh. Then all of them shouted, Hooray! They started up to his big workshop. It was decided the two reindeer who had thought of this idea should be the ones to tell Santa. So again, with a yes nod, they all agreed. And after each of them greeted him politely, one of the chosen ones said to him, We noticed how heavy your pack was last Christmas, so we thought if you only had a sleigh, how happy we would be to draw it for you. With such a big trip around the world in one night, our help would keep you from missing any of the children who are expecting you. Ah, uh, yes, said Santa. Each year on my trip, I find more children. It's getting to be quite a load, and I've been thinking of getting a sleigh for a long time. You know, friendly animals are sort of scarce in this far north country, so I just kept putting it off. But now, because you, my little friends of the forest, are so thoughtful, my Christmas worries are over. <laughs> now that you are going to help me, how about a name for each of you? A name? One of the little reindeer whispered. Another said loud enough for all to hear. If we had a name, then we would know just which one was out of line. And once more, with an agreeable nod, the question was settled. As Santa stepped aside to think of a name for them, the little fairy touched him on the shoulder and said, Why, why not name each one by the way he acts? Just then, one came dashing up to Santa. Ho, 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 we'll call you Dasher, said Santa. Then he noticed how graceful and nimble was the one that stood next to Dasher. And as she was walking up to them in her light, rhythmic way, Santa said, Dancer will be a good name for you. The reindeer, who was so enthusiastic about all this, kept prancing around as if he just couldn't wait to get started on his trip. So Santa had no trouble deciding on Prancer for his name. The little mischievous, aggravating one kept teasing Santa by saying, Why not just drop the toys down the chimney instead of you going down and filling up the stockings and putting the toys on the tree? The little vixen, said Santa. What name could be more fitting than that? I do hope she won't be a nuisance on the trip, whispered the little fairy. Santa looked at the little fairy and said, I wonder why I haven't already noticed the one with the beautiful, shiny, dreamy eyes that are just out of this world. It will take an out-of-this-world name like Comet for her. She's probably the one that thought of this scheme anyway. Now, 
Cupid is a good name for the little romantic one. See? He's maneuvering to get them in pairs, and he seems to have won Comet's heart. <laughs> she wants to be near him. <laughs> now I shall call the little shy one, the awkward one, Donder. She looks like she would be glad to don any sort of a name just so she could fit in. Yes, Donder would even be glad to be next to the little moody one who is just beginning to show an interest in all this. And what he takes a notion to do, he will do quickly with all of his might. A real blitz. And tonight, he is just in the mood for this around-the-world trip. So Blitzen is just the name for him. Now Santa decided he had better tell his helpers, the little elves. So he told them about the sleigh and asked them to build it. Oh, yes, I will build a sleigh that will glide swiftly through the air, even if it is heavily loaded. The little elf, who had done painting for him, said, There's just enough red and white paint to give it a real shiny Christmas look. So with a whiz, bang, and a whisk, the little elves soon had the beautiful shiny sleigh ready for the long journey. When they had filled up his pack and put it in the sleigh, Santa harnessed the little reindeer, jumped into the seat, and with a loud whistle, away they flew. As they glided swiftly through the air, Dancer asked Dasher if he could hear the beautiful Christmas carols. Oh, yes, they are so enchanting. It was worth all this effort just to hear the joyous music. The music had cast its spell over Vixen, too, who had become quite patient, waiting on the roof for Santa while he went down the chimney. She cautioned Prancer to be still so she wouldn't awaken the children. Comet, with her dreamy visions, said to Cupid, I can just see the children's eyes get bigger and brighter with happiness as they find their stockings filled with all sorts of goodies. The magic of the night had caused even shy, awkward Donder to do and say just the right things at the right time. Why, I haven't been the least bit tired, Donder said to Blitzen, who had been pushing the other little reindeer rather hard so they would get through before daylight. It has been so much fun lighting on the housetops, said the little reindeer, and Blitzen agreed. With a chuckle, Santa said, <laughs> I believe we're through. I'm sure we haven't missed any children, but without your help, I could not have made it this year. The reindeer then took him back to his workshop, and as Santa was thanking them for their kindness, the little reindeer said, Goodbye until next Christmas. We'll be here to draw your sleigh. <laughs> Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And as Santa gave a loud whistle, they gave a quick whirl, and away went the eight tiny reindeer back to their home deep in the big forest. <laughs> Santa's First Trip Once upon a time, there was a kind old man who loved all children and wanted to make them happy. He thought, Oh, how happy they'll be if I give them a toy on Christmas. Of course, the best toy will be for the nicest girl or boy. Then maybe all the naughty children will try to be nice. I shall build a workshop here in this far north country, and by Christmas, I hope I can have enough toys for all the children. Now, just what kind shall I make? Little boys would like a wagon and a horse and other animals too. Oh yes, and a sled to ride over the snow. What fun that will be. A pretty doll will please any little girl or a little tea set, just like Mommy's big one. Then she can serve her friends. Well, I had better get to work. 
So he worked hard and fast. So hard and so fast, he became very tired. He sat down to rest. While he was thinking of all the work he still had to do, two little elves stepped out of nowhere. Who are you, and how did you get here? He asked. We are little elves from Fairyland, and because you are so good at making toys for the children, we have a very special name for you. We shall call you Santa. Let us help you, or you'll be so tired by Christmas, you won't be able to carry that big sack on your back. It's a long trip, you know, and this being your first trip, you will have to search for many of the houses to make sure you don't miss any of the children. Well, <laughs> thank you, elves. That's very nice of you. So he went to sleep. The little elves went to work. This is going to be fun, said one little elf. I think I shall paint the little wagons red, and the little tea sets will have red flowers on them. Children like bright colors, and some of the dolls will have yellow hair, and some will have black hair. As fast as one elf would finish a toy, the other little elf would paint them. By the time Santa had awakened, they had them all ready to be packed in his big sack. Well, Santa couldn't believe his eyes when he saw so many pretty toys made so nicely. Oh, you have done so much for me, said Santa. Just look at those little red wagons. I wouldn't have had time to paint them. And I know the little girls will be so happy playing mommies to those pretty dolls. But say, it's getting late, and I must get started on my trip. As the little elves helped him place the big sack on his big shoulders, he turned around to thank them. And quick as a snap, they were gone. Santa started on his long trip, and as he was walking through the big forest, he thought he heard something moving in the bushes. Oh, just some animals, I'm sure. Maybe a reindeer. Seems like I can hear them all around me. Oh, there must be a lot of them. They can see me, as animals can see better than people when it is dark. Perhaps I am the first man they have ever seen. Wonder what they are thinking of me. And why are they following me? Well, perhaps someday I shall find out. Tomorrow, when I go back to my shop, it will be daylight and I can see them. He walked on and on through the forest. And as he came to a clearing, he saw a house. It was very cold in that far north country at Christmas time, so all of the doors and windows were closed very tightly. Santa said, Hmm, just how am I going to get into this house? He looked around. He could find no way to get in. Then he saw a big chimney. If I could climb up on top of the house with my big sack, I could go down the chimney. But how can I get up there? Well, he didn't have to wait long, for suddenly the two friendly little elves were standing beside him holding a big ladder. <laughs> Santa laughed. Wonderful! Oh, you are always around when I need you most. The little elves held the ladder tight so Santa would not fall while climbing up with his big sack of toys. Up the ladder and down the chimney he went, being very quiet so he wouldn't awaken any of the children for he wanted the gifts to be a big surprise. He didn't know just where to put the toys, as the children were not expecting him. Well, they had never even heard of him, so they didn't have a Christmas tree. He put the big toys at the side of the big fireplace. He filled their stockings with all sorts of goodies and hung them on the mantel above the big fireplace. Then, up the chimney and down the ladder he went, on and on, house after house, through the night, until his big sack was empty. While he was walking slowly back through the big forest to his workshop, again he thought he heard a noise. He looked around. He saw a little reindeer watching him from behind a tree, then another, and another. He started counting. He thought there were eight of them. 
they would come out from behind the trees as if to follow him, then dart back behind the trees again. Ho, 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 laughed Santa. Perhaps someday they will become friendly. All the way back to his workshop, he thought of the eight little reindeer, the little elves who had been so kind to help him, and all the little children he hoped he had made happy on his very first Christmas trip. If you are going to dance around the Christmas tree tonight, you'd better be still while I'm putting on the magic oil. If I don't get enough, the children can see you. And if I get too much, you can't see them. That would spoil all the fun. Now you're ready for the party. Goodbye, fairy. We are happy little pixies, although we're quite unseen. We came all the way from Fairyland just to see your faces gleam. As we're dancing around the Christmas tree, singing with so much glee. Oh, we are joyful seeing you playing so merrily. In our pixie suits and caps of green and our little turn-up shoes. While you're having fun opening your toys, we'll have fun a watching you. And as the little pixies were singing and dancing, the magic oil began to fade away. Hurry! Run! The magic oil is all gone! Let us in, good fairy! And the little pixies are safe in fairyland. And the magic door will not open anymore until next Christmas.